All right, let's try that again. Uh, Bostonian plays video games coming at you. Letters from a Quarantine, Volume 1. Uh, I actually just did a video. Fortunately, I didn't ramble on for 20 minutes, and, uh, you know, the audio wasn't recording, so that was, that's good. You know, microphone wasn't plugged in correctly. So, um, yeah, I mean, basically what I was saying was, um, you know, it's interesting, the response here, and, um, you know, I think it is a unique situation, and uh, uh, there was a meme circulating that uh, that says, oh, um, you know, your grandparents were called to fight in wars or whatever, and uh, what the heck is this? Look at this guy just way up there. Um, you know, your grandparents were called to fight in wars, and, uh, you know, you're being asked to sit on the couch. Well... You know, as far as my generation is concerned, we've been through, you know, many pockets of uh, media hysteria. And, uh, you know, starting with Y2K, for me, um, you know, then it's... And even the Gulf War, really. I mean, I was around for the Bush... You know, Bush Sr.'s uh, Gulf War bullshit and, uh, you know, soldier trading cards and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, then it was... Um, you know, Clinton administration's nonsense with the, uh, Monica Lewinsky. And then, um, you know, certainly, uh, 9-11 and then, uh, weapons of mass destruction and then the 2008 financial collapse. Um, so we've had plenty of, uh, experiences here to, you know, kind of get us ready even for something like this, which is more of a physical reality than anything else has been outside of 9-11, uh, obviously, because there was a real, you know, outside threat. Um, and this is definitely an outside threat because, uh, you know, a lot of things are being shut down and people are being asked to stay in their homes. And, and uh, I think there's a lot of confusion about what's going on, what this is, and, you know, rightfully so. So, um... So, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm going to try and do a video almost every day. It gives me something to do. Uh, calling it Letters from a Quarantine. Oh, look at this now. Vault Boy, Vault Girl. Boiled Water, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll talk about it and uh, kind of go from there. But, uh, you know, I think this is going to be a unique experience. It's going to last longer than, than, you know, we would want it to. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I think, are concerned about what this means, you know, going moving forward, you know, as far as uh, what our reality is going to become. Because, uh, you know, obviously after 9-11, a lot of things changed, too. I mean, you know, I don't think a lot of people realize that the TSA was not something that was in my life until after 9-11. Really. I mean, the way that the airports conducted themselves was, uh, you know, much different. So, um... And, uh, you know, is that something that's going to become... Is there is there something as a result of this that will become, you know, uh, more consistent, I guess, in our reality? So, um, so that's it. That's the thesis statement. That's the, uh, that's the first, uh, you know, Letters from a Quarantine, uh, Volume 1. And, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right.